In this video, I would like to show you the strategies which work for me to organize your Windows 10 Start menu so you can take full advantage of productivity features Microsoft's operating system has to offer. The easiest way to launch Windows applications is using Start button. You just click on the Start button and then select the application you need to launch by navigating through the list of applications. I will be using Notepad to show different ways of launching applications in Windows. But whatever I'll be showing you is applicable to any Windows application installed on your computer. By default, in Start menu, Notepad is located under Windows Accessories. And you can launch it by navigating through the hierarchical structure of Windows Start menu. But keep in mind that this is only one of many ways of launching Windows applications. Let's look at another alternative. You can just click on the Start button and start typing. For example, I will be typing Notepad. And what happens, Windows automatically searches based on the keywords that I'm typing based on the first letters. It will identify all the applications that match this criteria. In this case, it's only Notepad that matches this. But sometimes, if it's a generic word, it might be more than one application. So it finds it, and you can click on the applications and launch it again. For me, using typing is the superior method of uh, launching applications, because this way I can find some applications that I don't know where they are located on the menu. But through typing, I can use Windows Help to help me locate and find these applications. Over the years, Start button became not just the launching pad for applications, but also a comprehensive search tool in Windows 10. You can use Start menu to find applications locally. And also, Windows launches a web query to find everything that you're looking for based on the keywords you typed online as well. In addition to launching applications from the Start menu, you can also launch specific folder in Windows 10, specific URL in the particular browser, and also launch specific section of settings and control panel. Now let's look at some options how Windows 10 can help you launch applications faster. To do that, let's click on the Start button, type Notepad, and use a right mouse click on your mouse. And one of the options, the last one, is Pin to Taskbar. Taskbar in Windows groups most frequently used applications, and I just clicked the Pin to Taskbar, and Notepad shows up by default as the most tried application on the Taskbar. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume that this is my most frequently used application, and I'm going to drag it to the left. Using Windows Taskbar is one of the most effective ways of launching Windows applications. It is always visible and only requires one mouse click to launch. Because Windows Taskbar takes real estate on your screen, one of the best strategies I found is only to put applications there that you use most frequently. Windows assigns shortcuts to all applications that spin to taskbar. For example, Notepad would be number one, Edge browser would be number two, Chrome browser would be number three, and etc. To launch those applications, for example, to launch Notepad, you can use Windows 1, which launches uh, Notepad, Windows 2, which would launch Edge browser, and Windows 3 would launch Chrome browser. This way, if you assign most frequently used application to your taskbar in the order how you use them, you can use these shortcuts to launch them very quickly. Windows 10 allows two fastest way of launching the application. The first one is Windows Taskbar, and the second one is keyboard shortcuts. Using Windows Taskbar, you launch application with just one mouse click. Using keyboard shortcut, it's just one keyboard click. The best strategy of using these two tools is to put applications that you use the most frequently and configure them using these two methods for the fastest launch. Another shortcut to launch Windows applications quickly is Pin to Start. To use it, let's find Notepad again by typing Notepad in the Start menu and right mouse click on the Found application. And you see there is option Pin to Start. When you select this, nothing happens initially, but when you click Start menu again, you see that there is a Notepad application right here on the Tiles portion of the Start menu. Now, you can launch Notepad by just clicking the Start button and clicking Notepad in the Tile portion. You can also move it and uh, rearrange applications. And for example, if you use Notepad more frequently, you can put it as number one here on the tile structure. You can also remove it from the tile portion by using Unpin from Start option. 
and rearranging and putting things back as they used to be. If you'd like the content, please make sure to click the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Another cool way of quickly launching Windows applications is assigning custom shortcut. For example, what you can do, you can assign a shortcut like Alt Shift N to Notepad. And when you hit this shortcut on your keyboard, it will always launch Notepad. This is the way to do it. You can right mouse click on the application and open file location. And uh, what happens, it shows where the shortcut to Notepad is located. Not the actual application, but the shortcut. You see this small, this arrow sign in the icon. And what you can do, you can click on the properties for this shortcut. And there is a shortcut key. Nothing is assigned by default. But if I type Alt, then holding Alt plus Shift, and then press N, you see that it uh, assigned Alt Shift N shortcut. I click Apply. I click OK. I close File Explorer and now I'll use this shortcut Alt Shift N and it launches Note. To create the most productive environment in Windows, it's always a good idea to differentiate between applications that you need access every day versus every week versus occasional use. You can put the ones that you use most frequently on the taskbar or create Windows keyboard shortcuts for those so you can access them with just one click. A lot of times, instead of launching specific applications in Windows, you may need to launch specific area that you're trying to manage. For example, documents. The best way to do it is click the Start button and then expand Start portion, uh, which is different from the list of applications. You just navigate here and it shows all the different options here. Video recording, that's the user ID I use. Uh, documents, that's the area we're trying to launch. It also has areas for pictures, settings, and then power options. If you don't expand it, it shows just the icons. But if you're doing it for the first time, it might be worthwhile looking what those areas are. Because I wanted to launch documents, I just click on the documents and it launches uh, the documents area. You see, this is this PC documents area in Windows. Sometimes you might realize that one of the most frequently used items in Windows for you is not the application, but rather specific folder in File Explorer or maybe settings or accessing particular URL. Let me show you how you can optimize and accelerate access to those items in Windows 10. Windows 10 allows you to customize what shows up in that menu. To do that, we just select documents or pictures or any other areas. You can't select user ID. It always should stay there. And you can click personalize this list. And it shows what the options are you might add or remove from that menu. For example, I would use File Explorer. That's what I use very frequently. Settings, uh, documents. I also look at downloads, but I rarely use it. I look at music or pictures or videos. I might add network and I do not use personal folder. Obviously, your list might be different, so make sure to choose options that you would use most frequently. Now let's look how it changes after we made those uh, adjustments. Now you see there are more options here. And if I click, it expands and shows that we have documents, downloads, we have network file explorer. And if you click on any one of these options, it will launch that area of the Windows application that you are trying to find. And now let's look at the one of the coolest recently introduced way of launching Windows applications in Windows 10. If you are a power user and trying to manage the computer in addition to just using it, you find this option useful to launch power options by clicking the start button and you do a right mouse click and you see a lot of different options. For example, some options only available in settings or in control panel. Computer management is a very useful option which launches computer management add-in MMC plugin which allows you to look at different options in Windows and pretty much uh, File Explorer, Settings, Task Managers, PowerShell, and uh, all of these other options used uh, by power users and uh, Windows administrators very frequently. So this is a neat way to launch and quickly access all of this command. Another way to launch Windows applications faster is to talk to Cortana. First, we need to configure Cortana, which may not be configured on, uh, by default. To do that, let's click on the Start menu and type Cortana. And by default, it's Cortana permissions, and this is what we're looking for. And one of the options there is Talk to Cortana. By default, Cortana is not enabled, so we can turn it on, and it will respond to Hey to Cortana. 
If you also want to launch Cortana manually, for example, by using Windows C shortcut key, you can enable this option, which is uh, what I'm going to do. Let's close it. Now let's launch Notepad using Cortana. Hey, Cortana, launch Notepad. Sure thing, starting Notepad. And you see now Notepad application is opened. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.